Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful evening. And we are all here to celebrate two very beautiful people. So if you could please help me welcome to the dance floor for their very first dance as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Christian Huff. So what are you sure what is frightening? You see right through the mess inside me And you call me out to pull me in You tell me I can start again And I don't need to keep on hiding I'm fully known and loved by you, you won't let go, no, no, no matter what I do. And it's not one or the other, it's our truth and ridiculous grace to be known. Sadie Caraway Robertson. You are the love of my life. You are so much more than I could have ever dreamed of or thought to pray for. You are my absolute best friend and the best teammate. And I know that that will never change. There has never been a time where you walked in a room and that room didn't light up because of your presence. I mean, seriously, look at you standing here right now. You have a smile that glows in this presence that changes every atmosphere you enter into. You're the most beautiful person that I have ever seen in my life. And you have absolutely captured me, holding every ounce of my attention forever. I promise to only ever have eyes for you. As my bride, you are all that I see. You are captivating, and you hold my attention now and forever. I promise to always remind you of how beautifully radiant you become as you look toward our Father in heaven. From one glance at you, you captivated my heart and changed my life. It is my joy to honor you as my wife by presenting our marriage to God faithfully every day. I promise to always love our Savior first so that my love for you is an extension of his love. I love you best when I am satisfied in him. I promise to love you unconditionally and never stop pursuing your heart. I promise to steward your heart to the best of my ability and to do whatever I need to do to make you smile the most beautiful smile in the world. to always be your best friend from dancing in public when I know I can't dance to going on dinner dates to having the most random spontaneous adventures and everything in between because I am with you and cannot be more for you I promise to protect and to fight for us reminding one another that God is with us 
prayerfully standing together against the enemy, united for each other and our family. And Sadie, no matter what circumstances life may bring, I promise to be your safe place. I promise to never take for granted that the overflow of Christ's love in you and the overflow of Christ's love in me is the true gift our marriage brings to the world. I love you and I promise to always love you. Chandler Huff, you are my greatest and most evident touch of heaven on earth. I see so many good things in you that I've had the blessing of seeing in some amazing men in my life. You're sweet like Pebble Shack, a go-getter like Pebble Howard. Your love for the word is like Pebble Phil. You seek and learn like Tubaba, and you are confident and fun like my dad. I adore all these things in you, but most importantly, you are so much like Jesus, and that has changed my life. One of my favorite verses is 1 John 4, 12. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. Thank you for letting me see him every day through the way that you love me. People asked me when I knew that you were the one. There were two moments that come to mind. One was on our very first date when you cranked up the music in the car to yell by Usher and waited for me to get out and dance in the most crowded parking lot in Nashville. You didn't care who was watching for your eyes were locked on me, laughing and having fun. I noticed two of my favorite things that day, your eyes and your humor. I always tell you, I love your eyes, not just for how beautiful they are, but for what they seek and what they find. Shake your hair. <laughs> you were so intentional in every way. You're not distracted by a crowd. Your laugh quickly became my favorite sound, and your smile still makes me giddy. The other moment was when I called to tell you that I'm sorry, but I would not be able to date you in the moment because I need to focus on tour. You said never apologize for the things God is doing in my life. And then you stated, if it is a win for the kingdom and a win for you, then it's a win for me. So that leads me to my first promise. I promise that if it's a win for God and a win for you, then it will always be a win for me. I want you to know that you don't have to hide because my desire is to know all of you and my commitment is to always love all of you. I promise to never put an expectation on you or our life together to be perfect. I know we live in an imperfect world and we are both imperfect people, but I choose to learn from God's perfect love to love you the best I can. 70 times seven will be the measurement of forgiveness. Tonight, I throw my fear against the wind so that I will not hesitate to give you the life and the love within me through every moment in my life. I promise no matter where God takes us or what life throws at us, I will not let my circumstances determine the joy of our life 
For just as we say about every day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the easiest day of my whole life to rejoice. Thank you so much for all of our family and friends who are coming to celebrate what you've done, God. We pray that, God, through the way that we love each other, everybody in that place would feel loved mm -hmm. and feel known and feel seen by you, God. Lord, I thank you for this man. I thank you for how kind he is, how strong he is, how incredible of a leader he is. I thank you that he gets to be my husband. And God, I thank you for the lifetime we're going to get to live together. Would it be filled with the fruit of who you are, with joy and love and peace? Lord, we love you. We thank you for this day, for it is the day you mm -hmm. have made. And we, we will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. <laughs> Amen. This is actually real. <laughs> 